Hi, everyone. My name is Heather Wensko. I'm a board member at large with the Open Bioinformatics Foundation, and we're going to pause this. Good. The OBF is, like I said, the Open Bioinformatics Foundation, and our mission is we're dedicated to promoting the practice and philosophy of open source software development and open science within the life sciences. But more broadly, we'd like to lower the barrier to entry for working in openness or working openly in the sciences. We were founded in 2001 to support the BioStar projects, which Nomi talked a little bit about, and related projects, and we formally established a membership in bylaws in 2005. In the US, we'd say that we're a 501c3 tax-exempt nonprofit, and we have a fiscal sponsor, Software in the Public Interest. They manage the, the books and the accounting for a lot of different software and open-related uh, projects, some of which you would have heard of. And the OBF is entirely volunteer-run. If you ever want, if you have more questions or if you want to get in touch, we're at www.open-bio.org, and I'll be talking a little bit more about our website later on, which is also open. We try to have everything open and available. You can go to our GitHub repository. You can see the source code for our website. You can see our bylaws. You can see our meeting minutes. Everything is there. You can open pull requests just like any other open project. What is it that we do? We sponsor and run BOSC primarily. It's our flagship conference. And welcome to all of you. I was really, really excited to see so many hands raised for new people. That's fantastic. We organize CodeFests and hackathons. One of them is immediately following this conference, the CodeFest. It's always fun if you can possibly come, even just for one day, even for half a day. Turn up, meet people, find out about the projects that are going on. It's always a good time. We are a mentoring organization in the Google Summer of Code. And we also administer the OBF Travel Fellowship to promote diversity in bioinformatics events. I'll be talking a bit more about that in a minute as well. The day-to-day -day also, we manage servers, co-location facilities, bank accounts, domain names, and other assets for the benefit of our member projects. So those are the BioStar projects, BioPerl, BioPython, MBOSS, et cetera. We have a board. And we're run by an entirely volunteer board. Most of those people are here, and so I'm going to ask everyone to kind of turn around and wave. Our president is Hilmar Lapp. Our <laughs> and hold your applause to the end, otherwise we'll never get through it. Um, our treasurer is Peter Koch. And Chris can't be here today, but he'll be dialing into our public meeting tomorrow. He's our treasurer. And then we have four members at large. Nomi Harris, who you've already met, myself, Bastian Grishakis Tavares and Yo Yehudi. We are all here for you. If you have any questions about OBF or BOSC or if you have any issues, come up to any of us at any time. Hopefully, we're all approachable, and I can tell you for sure none of us bite. What is it that we do other than talk to y'all? We make decisions about the big picture stuff, strategic direction and priorities, the programs we run, how we invest our resources. We discuss and decide infrastructure and logistics, and more or less annually, we hold annual or we hold public meetings. The next one is tomorrow. We have taken up a birds of a feather slot for ISMB. I think it's going to be in this room at 12:45. Everyone is invited to come. We have a lot of interesting stuff on the agenda. We'll be talking about implementing starting to implement a code of conduct for our member projects. And there is going to be a new board member up for election. So definitely come along if you can. What have we been up to for the last year? We have a new logo. So our old one is at the top. It's very charming, and it was lovely when it was first made. But we decided we wanted to sort of update it. So last year, we had a birds of a feather about getting involved in OBF. And one of the many fantastic things that came out of that was our new logo, which is much modern, more modern, and a bit slicker. Uh, we got three people, actually, to volunteer to create logos, and then the community voted on them. And Alex Lapita's one was chosen as the winner. Now you can see that we have stickers in the back with our new logo. It's all over our website. We're really, really proud of it. And because it came from the community, that makes it even more special. We also have a new website. Our old one was based on the, the media wiki sort of template. It was great, it was serviceable, but now we have a new slick modern looking one that we uh, worked with an outreachy intern, Dipashri Deshmukh, on, and that was mentored by Yo Yehudi. We're really excited about the new website. It's, um, it's just as easy to interact with, with as the old one, but it's a more updated look to go with our updated logo. 
We also participated in the Google Summer of Code, which I'm not going to tell you anything about because Kai is up next, hopefully, if Kai has made it in. Ah, yes, there you are, good, uh, to tell you how that went. And he is the organizer summer in and summer out for GSOC, and we're very, very grateful to him for all of that work. One of the big things we do is the OBF Travel Fellowship, which is meant to provoke promote diversity at bioinformatics events, including conferences and hackathons. We started it in 2016, and there are three application rounds annually. The deadlines are the 15th of April, August, and December, which means the 15th August deadline is fast approaching. The application process is pretty simple, and then if you're accepted, you can get reimbursed up to the equivalent of US uh, $1,000 for conferences, hackathons, anything, and the only thing you have to do for that is write us a blog entry. Fellowships can be awarded retroactively. So, for example, if you find that you need travel assistance for your trip here to Basel, you can apply in the 15 August round and possibly get awarded uh, reimbursement for that. The initial donation was from NES Cent, and we are funded, the funding is secure for the next few years. We're always looking for sustaining sponsors, and, but we are, we're, we're gonna be doing it for a few more years yet. And we're, we're pretty proud of it. It's, it's worked really well. A lot of people have been able to go to events that they otherwise wouldn't have been able to. And with that, I'm probably going to hop off the stage and uh, cede it to Kai. But if you have any questions or if you want to know more about the OBF, there's our website. Reach out to us on Twitter. Check out our repository on GitHub or keep up, and or keep up with the blog. Or if you're really excited, you can become a member. Membership is open to anyone who is interested in and aligns with the objectives of the OBF. By attending BOSC, you already count. So you can go to our website, you can fill in the membership form. What would you get out of this? At the moment, we have a newsletter. It's not super spammy, it's at most once a quarter, and it'll keep you up on what's going on with OBF, with BOSC, and in the open community. And that is me done. Usually I would take questions, but I want to kind of keep things moving. So thank you all very much for your attention, and Kai's up next. <coughs>